All right, so we hear it never fail. And uh, so what do you do? Well, we provide a continuous availability solution for products like Virtual Center Server. Also provide solutions for Exchange, SQL Server, Labry Enterprise Server. Now, what we have here on the screen at the moment is we have a solution which we're currently protecting, protecting Virtual Center. Now, what, we're, what the information we can see on the screen is that the, the primary server is currently the active server and the secondary is currently the passive server. And we can see the direction of replication and we can see that all the registry settings are currently synchronized because we're doing registry replication so that in the event of a failover, the configuration or any configuration changes that you make will be available on the um, active server when it becomes active. We're also replicating the data as well, so making sure that all the data is available when a failover occurs. And we're also making sure that all the services associated with the SQL server and the virtual center server are all up and running and functioning correctly. So how often do you check? Do you always ping it like you know, constantly or how does it work? I'm sorry, how long ago? Uh, do you how do you check it? How do we check? Well, we're basically what we're doing is the, the NeverFell solution is checking the services to making sure that they're not in a uh, hung or a stalled state. And if they are, what we can do is we can then launch self-corrective actions. And by launching the self-corrective actions, what we can do is basically take a, an application that is in an unreliable state and then bring it back and make it reliable. So we're proactively monitoring the application rather than just replicating the data and providing automated failover. We are completely encompassing and protecting the entire application state and making sure that it's running. And also the environment that surrounds that application. So we can monitor things like the, the network connection, also monitoring the performance of the hardware components, monitoring also like monitoring the performance of the application. Um, so we're focusing on all the different components and the areas around the application to keep the application continuously available. All right, so what can we see here on the screen? So we can see this screen here, and obviously we've got here is we've got a primary server and we've got a secondary server as well. If we were to just minimize this screen for a second, uh, and what we do then is just give it, what we then do is just minimize this, what we then do is bring up the virtual center. And on the virtual center, we can see here, this is a virtual center server which is currently running and doing everything that needs to be done. So we've got, we've got a, it's connected to the ESX host and we can see them file for BlackBerry and Exchange and SQL virtual machines. We now go back into our, into our VMware workstation environment where we have an ESX server which is virtualized, which is currently running. We have a primary server which is currently running and we also have a secondary virtual center which is also currently running as well. So if we go back to this server, what we can now do is do a manual switch over. So this will now switch the states across. So we say, are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes, I do. So it's now currently switching. Now what it's doing at the moment as it's switching is it's actually stopping the services on the primary server. And once those services have stopped, what it will then do is it will then flip over to the other server and start bringing the services up on the other side. Now whilst we're waiting for that to complete, let me just show you what was happening in the application section. If we look at the application section, we can currently see here that basically we protect it. These are what we refer to as plugins. So we have the VMware Virtual Center, which is currently being protected. We have the system component, which is protecting the, look and monitoring the performance of the hardware. The SQL Server plugin, and you also have this one called User Defined. What that means that we can do is we can now give the the user or the customer the ability to customize Neverfell to protect bespoke applications or applications that they require to be protected and have a high availability solution, making sure it's continuously available. If we then go to the Services tab. We can see here that the SQL Server plugin is protecting these servers or these services. And we can see here we've got the target state which is running and we can see the actual passive state. So we're monitoring those services ensuring that they're in a running state. We've got some user defined services that we've added in here. We've also got the virtual center ones. And then in the task section we can add in our own additional tasks. So user defined we've got a ping task. So, let's say for instance, we go back to the services section for a second, and we choose one of these services, and we edit it, 
we can then basically modify the on the first error and we can actually specify a task to occur in the event that that service stalls or stops. So we then look at the rules section. We've got the monitoring of the performance of the SQL server and of the system components as well, disk space, making sure that the disk utilization, memory utilization is good. And if we look down the bottom of the screen here, we can see VMware Virtual Center and how we've tapped into the API. And we can see here that we're making sure that the license server is available, and we're also making sure that the Virtual Center can communicate with the backend SQL database using the API. And then we look at the plugins. Here we've got the plugins, which we've got. These are all the plugins which are installed at the moment. And what we could do, in, if for instance you have SQL Server and you change the version, we can uninstall that particular plugin and install a new one on the, on the fly or seamlessly without having to do anything, any reconfiguration to never fail. So now we'll go back to the main system screen and now we can see that the secondary server is actually replicating in the correct direction. The secondary is active, the primary is passive, the registry set is synchronized, so is the data, and all the services have been successfully started. So if I minimize this, this screen now, we can see we've lost connectivity to the virtual center infrastructure client has lost connectivity. So we just say, yes, I'd like to log in again. So all I'm doing now is just type in the password again. So, oh, let's try that again. So, okay, so that's loaded logging in, so we're just waiting for that to load up. But what we've actually demonstrated here is a couple of things. Obviously, we can provide you with automated failover in the event of some form of site disaster, but we can do manual switchovers as well, which is really, really good for things like plan maintenance. Okay, so if you have, if you want to upgrade a server whilst keeping the server, well, whilst keeping the application online, you can do. So your administrators can carry on working on your virtual infrastructure whilst you do the upgrade during normal working hours. So the, the, the servers would be, for example, at different locations or something. Yeah, I mean, never, never fail can work in a land config, what we call a land configuration, where they are effectively in the same site. But if you want true disaster recovery, we can actually put them in two geographical locations. Um, what we do there, which if we relate it specifically to Virtual Center for a second, is that we can, obviously if the Virtual Center servers that we've cloned, or the secondary we cloned, is in a different IP subnet, we know that the ESX host will obviously can only be managed by one virtual center server at one time. So we have the way to modify that re re modify that entry on the ESX server host, so then it allows the connectivity from the new secondary active server at the other geographical site. And again, these ge when we talk about, the di if we talk about distance involved on the WAN, we could be talking anywhere from one a town near one, you know, a space of maybe 20 kilometers or 100, 100 kilometers. We have done installations before between Atlanta and Dublin and New York and London. So it gives you the kind of distances in which we can operate over. Because, for example, in Florida, they have this huge power failure right now. Yeah, I mean, and this is a prime example. I mean, the thing is, when you look at environmental issues like that, you know, where you do have fire or you have flood or indeed the power, you know, power outages and power issues. Is that the servers have failed, but we keep the business running and we can keep you running and keep your business running so therefore you carry on generating revenue by providing you with a continuous availability solution. And it works. It does what it says on the tin. That's what most people say to us at Neverfell. It does as it it does exactly what it says on the tin. Alright. Okay, thanks. Thank you.